Coogan Cash with Cypher TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. With me, I've got the new WBA lightweight champion of the world, Anthony Million Dollar Crawler. You, you must be absolutely ecstatic. Ah, big and honest, like made up, can't put into words what it means to me. It's said in the ring then, it's uh, something I've dreamt about since being a little boy. And to achieve that dream, it might take a few days to sink in, but I think you could see sort of the emotion on my face in there and stuff and the reaction, I, um, I'm absolutely made up. Of all the possibilities people, you know, we're seeing how this fight would play out uh, in a fifth round knockout by body yeah. shot, which probably wasn't one of them, but yeah, no. you started well in the fight, which was key. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I knew sort of a few rounds, I said to Joe, coming back, I said, he's feeling this already, and I, I knew he'd, he was making a lot of noises, and, you know, inside, and he was feeling the pace. Um, but fair play to him, he was sharp, and seemed to hit a bit harder than last time, and I took a few stupid shots early on, but I thought I would, I would get two months, and I, I'd done a few things wrong in there, but it paid off. Everything was, um, I was very confident from early on, I was going to get him out of there, before the fight was, but I just had to box my way. The best body shot of your career? Um, I'd say so, yeah. Um, I, I remember touching up top. I remember as I thought I'd done, but I'd still have to watch it back. But I think so. I knew as soon as he went down, I knew there's a good chance he won't be in the count. But even after that, I mean, he was he was struggling to get up at the end. You, you went yeah, over to him to see if he was all right in the end. Yeah, he was he was down sort of and sat down for a few minutes. But um, so it was it was a good body shot. I'll have to like you say I'll have to watch it back again and see, you know, see what it's like, what I'm made up. Uh, uh, not so long ago, at one point, not knowing if you'll ever box again to, yeah. to reaching what you've reached yeah. tonight in your hometown of Manchester. Just Unbelievable. Under, <laughs> yeah, just under 12 months ago, um, everything that happened, obviously, it was well documented. And then, to this honest, I, I promised myself I'd come back better than ever when I was laying on the hospital bed, and I believe that's what I've done. Did you surprise yourself tonight, or not? No, honestly, no, I'm, I can't, I'm capable of better than that, Kugan. Honestly, I don't. I'll have to watch it back. I'm not sure how good. I don't think it was a great performance. It was a great finish, but I don't know if it was a great performance. But obviously, we know that you know Kevin Mitchell will fight Ismail Barrosa yeah. um, on the 12th of December in London. Yeah. Be in line to face I'll be, you. I mean, yeah, I'll be down there to watch it. Um, Kev sent me a message today wishing me luck. Kev's a great lad, and listen, he's he's got that fight in December. Um, listen, if it, um, it comes through that, I'm sure that's a fight that Eddie will be keen to make. Absolutely, but I mean, what does it mean to you in front of, like I said, your your home crowd here in Manchester? Honestly, I can't I can't put it into words. It's, it really is a dream come true. It's I couldn't pick a better setting for my dream to come true in front of my friends, family, and every like after it. it was, obviously, there was Joe, my dad was ringside, uh, my uncle who's been there, you know, my, my partner and brother. They've just there every fight and. Um, for them to be so close to it and then to get, you know, they're really happy and I just want to make, I just want to make them proud, my family proud. And people say you train a Joe Gallagher doesn't train world champions, well, he's got yeah. three now. Yeah, no world champions, he's still not got a gym though, don't <laughs> so forget got that, a gym yeah. And no Joe, world no champions. gym, no gym, no champs. Well, I, I think he has now, but I don't know, someone will find something. Absolutely, and what do you say about the support here you've had here, uh, over the two fights as well? Unbelievable and um, like you say, I, I've got to thank Eddie for like, Bringing Dallas Perez back over here, he, um, he delivered. It's like I say, it's a tough time of the year for everyone to come out. What the support he had out there was amazing, and like I say, I'll be forever in debt to those people. All right, listen, Anthony Quella, thanks for talking to IFL TV, and uh, we'll catch up with you. Congratulations, thanks, all right? Nice Thank one. you very much. I'm going to do a press conference.